Hello dear children. Today we are going to learn about most useful robots. As you all know that robots are machines that are useful in performing different tasks. They work automatically and with very high precision. In fact, we can now say that robots are machines doing the work of humans. So let's start discussing a very first robot PR2 The PR2 is one of the most advanced research robots ever built Its powerful hardware and software systems let it do things like clean up tables fold towels and fetch you drinks from the fridge This robot is slightly different than the others because its first use is not intended for industries but rather for home next is kirobo kirobo is japan's first robot astronaut developed by university of tokyo and tomotaka takahashi to accompany koichi wakata the first japanese commander of the international space station kirobo arrived on the international space station on august 10 2013 on an unmanned resupply spacecraft launched on August 4, 2013 from Japan's Tanegashima Space Center. Kirobo is approximately 34 cm tall, 18 cm wide and 15 cm deep. It weighs about 1 kg and speaks Japanese. Kirobo is specially designed to navigate zero gravity environments and will assist Commander Wakata in various experiments. Its main goal is to see how well robots and humans can interact, hopefully leading the way to robots taking more active roles in assisting astronauts on missions. Next one is Curiosity rover. Curiosity is a car-sized Mars rover designed to explore the Gale crater on Mars as part of NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission. The rover's goals include an investigation of the Martian climate and geology, assessment of whether the selected field site inside Gale has ever offered environmental conditions favorable for microbial life, including investigation of the role of water and planetary habitability studies in preparation for human exploration next in the list is actroid f actroid is a type of android or humanoid robot with strong visual human likeness developed by osaka university and manufactured by kokoro company limited it was first in unveiled at the 2003 international robot exhibition in tokyo japan several different versions of the product have been produced since then in most cases the robot's appearance has been modeled after an average young woman of japanese descent it can mimic such lifelike functions such as blinking speaking and breathing it is quick enough to react to or fend off intrusive motions such as a slap or a poke artificial intelligence gives us the ability to react in a different way to more gentle kinds of touch such as a pat on the arm the actroid can also imitate human like behavior with slight shifts in position head and eye movements and the appearance of breathing in its chest last but not the least packbot packbot is a series of military robots by endeavor robotics an international robotics company founded in 2016 created from i robot that previously produced military robots since 1990 more than 2000 were used in iraq and afghanistan they were also used to aid searching through the debris of the world trade center after 911 in 2001 another instance of the packbot technology being implemented was to the damaged fukushima nuclear plant after the 2011 
Tohoku earthquake and tsunami where they were the first to assess the site. The robot can traverse mud, rocks, stairs and other surfaces due to its caterpillar track. The robot also has zero radius turn capability and can climb up to a 60 degree incline. The rechargeable batteries allows the robot to have a run time of 4 to 8 hours. So children, that was all for today. Stay tuned for the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye-bye.